Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 17 of FC Destiny with Barrowtown here in FC 24. We are in August of 2025, just in case you didn't know. You see where we sit in the League One standings right there. We are in 14th, and you think back to that last episode, really impressive episode from our defense, but Masamba and Jai saved our ass multiple times. A lot of them were really amazing saves, and you guys agreed he was our player of the episode from episode 16. He's gonna get a plus two to his reflexes, and he's gonna add the quick reflexes play style, which will be awesome to have for our 23-year-old Senegalian goalkeeper. And before I read off some of your awesome comments from episode 16, make sure you hit the like button on this video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family here if you haven't already. Don't be afraid to leave some more awesome comments on this video. But from last episode, right now, John Lee is giving me a serious tingling sensation of deja vu the tingling sensation is real around the barrow parts here another one here give this team two seasons and barrow town will win league one but who knows maybe we get into a playoff spot this season let's try to stay optimistic here and lastly from my man kennedy's analysis where he summarizes our matches and what's gone down in the episode we finally got our first win in our league one campaign last episode he was very impressed with two individuals cosmo Wicks and John Leofeco. Cosmo did have a really good episode. I probably could have included him in the player of the episode. He's honestly been so consistent for us, putting in great performances and creating such great plays at times. But let's check out what we're going to do this episode and where we can see Cosmo heading off in these next few months. So we're in August. Like I told you, we're going to sim the Bradford City match on the 23rd, and then we're going to play this home cup match against Stoke City in the Carabao Cup and try to see if we can pull off an upset against a championship side and advance in the Carabao Cup up this year and then we're gonna sim portville at the end of the month sim shrewsbury sim against fleetwood town and then play away against blackpool in the league and then depending on if we won against stoke city or not we will probably play the next cup match if we somehow upset them but the last match of the episode is going to be after we sim the rest of september and a little bit of october we're going to end off in the middle of october against reading at home so now that you know what we're going to be doing let's get into a sim against bradford and then play a big home cup match against stoke city and in that sim against Bradford, Nikolai Zivergadens gets his second goal of the season, and we draw Bradford City 1-1 at home. And there's still many rounds to go in the Carabao Cup, but we're here in round two, and you see we've drawn Stoke City there. And you look at the lineups here, the comparison between the two teams, obviously Stoke City have the better team, but look at the highest overall player on that Stoke City roster. It's Ruder Berger from Battersea, the absolute legend from our FIFA 23 series. But I just wanted to show you these lineups lineups to show you how much better they are overall wise this is a championship team and we're not even going to send out our best 11 we're going to do a bit of a hybrid and send out some of our best players like Odell Tingling and Masamba Njai and Josh Nisbet to captain this side but Quack Gun's going to start up front Shabalala is going to start and it's actually going to be his breakout scenario if he can take a touch and score he's going to get plus one to his ball control plus one to his finishing I think this is going to be a fun one I want to press him and play him like any other team we play against and really give him hell here at home and see if we can move on to round three of the Carabao Cup. Come on, lads. So as we kick off here, shout out to my South African viewers, Shabalala and Fabuni Africa starting on the wings in this match. Two South Africans, let's see if one of them can make a difference in this one. Tingling, tackling, and they gave a penalty for that. What? Where's the penalty here? Odell wins the ball. I just don't see how he falls after something like that. Chance here for Stoke to take the lead. Masamba Njai dives the right way. Easy save for the big man. Come on, Barrowtown. Good ball here, overlapping. Tingling having to defend. Getting in the way. Nice job, Odell. Oh, God. Get up, Masamba. Not like this. Yeah. Nice touch here, Diogo Mello. And Mello has it here. Looking for Quack Gun. Good cut, quack gun, finish that! Oh my god, what a save! Africa shot is blocked. Oh, Shabalala intercepting here. Moyo Mushi can look for Jojo Betts over the top, keep that in. That'll work. Jojo crossing it in. Oh, there's a lot of guys there. Odell tingling once again reading the attacker. Really well done there. 
Mushi gets the Shabalala here, and that is the first half. No score. A Masamba Engine Masterclass so far. Our defense has been awesome, captained by Odell Tingling, and we've had chances. Corner here for Stoke City. Trying to take advantage. Good save, Masamba. Good save. Oh my god, no, 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 Odell, what a clearance off the line after an amazing Masamba save. God, we have been surviving. Oh my god, Masamba Njai, that is just world class out to Fabuni Africa here. And Africa takes it forward on to Nisbet. Nisbet trying to get it to, back to Africa. I really thought it was going to work. Dara Guinness, yes, good defending here. Africa can go forward with it. Come on, Fabuni. Cutting inside. Yes, Fabuni. On to Quack Gun. Here's the chance to take the lead. It's Quack, Quack. Gun. Barrowtown have taken the lead here. And some awesome play from Fabuni Africa after the tackle from Dara Guinness. Quack gives us the lead. Hell yeah. Jojo Betts having to defend on the wing here. Berger has it, getting in a dangerous area, tingling defending, and Barrowtown are out once again. More good defending from the Firebirds. And Africa looking for Diogo Mello. Is he on sides? Seems like he is. He's going to cross it across the pitch to Shabalala. Oh my god. Mello has it here, looking for Shabalala. Don't go, Shabalala. Good touches to take it inside his man. Shabalala still going with it. Shabalala. Can he go all the way? It's Shabalala saved. Stoke City come forward here. Not much time left. Noise is being made in the Carabao Cup. People are listening all over for this final score. Will it be Barrowtown in the upset? Fabuni Africa takes it forward. Quack gun presses, and the ref should blow his whistle now, but it looks like it's going to be one more Stoke City attack, or is it? Barrow Town move on again in the Carabao Cup. The Cinderella story has just begun, it seems. And he had his moment. Quack gun, a fan favorite for all, finally gets himself a very clutch goal for Barrow Town and an historic historic win and Fabuni Africa might get some more playing time for Diogo Melo now with the ZZ Raman out he was awesome in that match Yafeko was great Dingling was great but Masamba Njai how many saves did he make five saves eight shots against and no goals a clean sheet for Masamba he was outstanding in this match so we've simmed ahead here, now let's see who we've drawn in the cup, and it's going to be Millwall. On the road, we're going to visit Millwall, another championship side here in round three of the Carabao Cup. Now that we went ahead and beat Stoke City, we have all the confidence in the world that we can go get it done against Millwall, so we'll definitely be playing that one as well. And how about this for news? Nikolai Zivergadins is being courted by Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. I haven't seen any offers come in yet, but they are definitely interested in our Latvian superstar we have. So we'll play that match at the end of September against Millwall, but we're going to sim to the away match against Blackpool right now. So just three matches to sim here, so let's get that done. And in the sim on the road against Port Vale, we lose 2-0 in this first one here in the league. And then in our next sim at home against Shrewsbury, we draw 1-1. Cosmo Wicks gets the goal for the Firebirds here. And then in our next match in the league at home against Fleetwood Town, we win second win of the season 2-0 here. Toko Shabalala gets his first for Barrow Town. And Odell Tingling gets his first of the season and helps keep a clean sheet here. And looking at where that puts us in the standings, you see we're in 17th place. Just two points ahead of safety. It's pretty tight here near the bottom. There's four teams that go down from league. League one, but as you look up the table, it's really, it's tight all around overall. We're playing Blackpool in this next match. They're in ninth, so let's get right into it. So here's our lineup on the road. We're facing another team from the Northwest, not Liverpool, but Blackpool. Diogo Mello starts at attacking mid. Fabuni Africa is going to get a start on the right wing here. Ovi Ajari is tired from the midweek match. Breakout scenario is going to be for our Brazilian Diogo Mello. If he can be a part of three or more chances created, whether that's a pass created or a shot on target, Diogo Mello is going to get plus three to his attacking positioning. So let's get into this league match. Come on, lads. Oh, I thought Gene Fuchs was going to win that. Blackpool take it down. The left wing here. 
Durganis gets beaten inside. Blackpool still going. Classic play from the CPU, just waiting for a chance to open up and for me to make a mistake. Fuchs, it's Lamb. Enjai saves, come on! And off the corner, Blackpool have scored. Just, just, of course. I don't know who was supposed to be marking this guy. It looked like we had it covered, but just, just, oh. I really, really hate this game sometimes. Come on, Firebirds. Nice touch here for Boney Africa. Oh, that was almost magical, almost amazing. Oh, and another header, looking goal bound, and Barrowtown, Nisbet, and Engine together combined to save that one here. We've got to step our game up here. Nice ball here, Cosmo X. Francis Paul goes forward with it. Come on, Francis. Zivergadins is going to get it. Off to Cosmo. Cosmo Wicks with a little bit of space here. He's going to try to finesse it. Good save. Blackpool have it in a dangerous area here. Francis Paul just getting his foot in there in the way. And to be only 1-0 down right now actually doesn't feel that bad anymore. Barrowtown in the way. Tingling defending. And there's your half. 1-0 Blackpool. Oh, good through ball here. Tingling having to get in the way. Engine making the save. And already Blackpool are on it in the second half again. Nice ball here from Mello. Francis Paul's going to have Cosmo Wicks. Come on, Cosmo. Cutting inside. Ah, oh, too much. Blackpool in a good spot here. Lamb having to defend. Oh, Angus Lamb. This has been his best defensive match of the season so far. Has not been a good match from Fabuni Africa, though. So we're going to bring in Shabalala at this point. See how that goes. Oh, Gindo Fuchs. That is how you track back there. Way to cover for Daraganis. Nisbet breaking forward. On to Zivergadins. Nikolai Zivergadins. Good cut here. Daraganis. Mello. It's 1 1. What a goal against the run of play here. And what a season Diogo Mello's having. Good job here by Zivergadins to cut it back. Daraganis on to Mello. Mmm. Oh, good ball here. Mello has it. Diogo Mello being nice and patient here. I like it, and Francis Paul can run. Francis Paul cutting in here. Francis Paul gets it to Wicks. Cosmo Wicks has Shabalala free, and he can't cross it in at the right time. Come on. Come on, Barrowtown. We're pressing well here. Just need a mistake from Blackpool at some point. Ah, and Blackpool are getting a little bit loose with it. We're pressing them, but they do not want to lose it here. And Ajaria has a chance to launch Sivergadins. Come on, keep it going. Yes, Shabalala's going to get it here. Good passing. Ajaria, on to Sh Sh Cosmo Wix. Wix, ah. 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 And that's a draw. Honestly, not a terrible draw, but definitely had some chances there late that we could have taken. And just a shout out to our six foot eight Senegalian in net. Honestly, he's the reason we're in any of these games at this point. We were outshot 13 to five in this match and Masamba was huge once again. And then in our next match in the EFL Trophy, Josh Nisbet and Fabuni Africa score on the road against Knotts County, and we win our first of two group matches here. And then in our next match in the league, we play Stockport, and we win 1-0. Ovi Ajaria plays really well in this one and gets himself a goal, his third of the season. And then in our next match in the Sim at Cambridge United, a 3-3 draw. The goals were flowing for both sides. Nico scores two, Diogo Melo scores one for Barrowtown here in a high scoring draw. Let's see where that puts us in the standings and then get ready for our big cup match against Millwall next week. And in League One that puts us firmly in the mid table, we're in 16th here, but it's cup time. And just based on stamina alone, this is gonna have to be our starting lineup. Diogo Melo is gonna start on the left wing, Ajaria at attacking mid, and Fabuni Africa on the right wing. Big cup match against Millwall here, championship side. Look at the overalls of their players, they are much better than ours, but I believe in this team here. Breakout scenario is going to be for anyone in this match who can score a goal is going to get plus one to their potential if we can also win the match and advance to the next round. Big one here. Big chance to knock off two championship sides in the Carabao Cup. Come on lads. And I'm really excited about this one. Chance to make some noise and make some headline news here in England. <laughs> 
Odell got none of the ball, but set a tone there, why don't you? And a yellow card's gonna be given in the third minute. I honestly don't hate it. Not my favorite thing to see, but definitely setting a tone that we're gonna be physical and we belong here. Nice ball here. Jojo Betts gets it to Diogo Mello. Mello with it. On to Quack Gun. Good passing here. Ajaria gets a little bit of space. Ovi Ajaria trying to turn his man. Good defending from Millwall. Good defending from Barrow Town. Fuchs doing well. Ajaria looking over the top for Quack Gun. Quack Gun out to Africa. Africa crossing it into Ajaria. Ovi Ajaria gives Barrow Town the lead. Yes, lad. Come on, you firebirds. Fabuni Africa whips it into a dangerous spot, and Ovi Ajaria, look at the volley here. What a goal. Nice ball here from Africa. Guinness is going to get it on the quack gun. Ajaria gets it here with space. Mello over the top. Quack gun is there. Quack. What a goal, Barrow Town. Are you kidding me? We are bossing this match. What a ball from Diogo, Mello, and Quack Gun. What a neat little finish. All right, we have to hold what we have now, and we have a 2-0 lead in Millwall. Nisbet of Millwall trying to take it wide here. Tingling getting in the way. Enjai saving. God, what a keeper. But Fleming might be in here for Millwall. Enjai coming out, doing well. Is it enough? Oh my god, Betts gets in the way. I don't know who made the save there, but we are surviving and I'm loving it. Look at this spirit here. Jojo Betts getting his body on the line there. Enjai was about to make the save. This is one hell of an effort so far in this match. Oh, good through ball here. Odell Tingling's gonna have to deal with it. Namaso making the run. Tingling defending. Odell Tingling says no, but... I where, where is the foul there? Come on, please don't score this. Oh my god, it's a good thing I put JoJo on the line there. Morgan defending, heroic defending from our American. And guys, we are winning 2-0 here at halftime. Oh, John Leofeko wins it back. What a tackle here. And Mello is going to look for Nisbet here. Josh Nisbet. Oh, he tried to get it to Jaria. Josh Nisbet has it here. Gindo Fuchs doing some dribbling. Ajaria has it here, looking for Quack Gun. Good pass. Quack Gun's a little bit wide. He's still going to get the shot off. Oh. Jojo Betts to throw it in. Ajaria has it here. Mello looking for Jojo Betts here. Jojo Betts cutting it back. Quack Gun with tons of space. Quack Gun still going. Oh my god, he hit the pose. Come on. Oh my god, Enjai makes the save. Namaso boxes out Tingling, of course, and Millwall are back in this. And Diogo Mello has been outstanding this match, but we're going to bring in Cosmo Wicks a little bit reassurance on that left wing here down the stretch. Cosmo Wicks just toying with his defender already. Turning his man, Cosmo Wicks getting it to Ajaria. Ajaria on to Quack Gun. Really good pass there, and the pressure's on. Oh my god. Millwall getting the better of Dargenis for now, but... It doesn't last forever. That one gets by Darganis. Odell Tingling having to make a tackle, and that is just so good to not foul there. Darganis. Oh, that is so good. So clutch from our Irishman to break down their attack there. Oh, and he gets the better of Darganis this time. Odell Tingling out to help out. Darganis trying to recover. Really good ball in the box, and Enjai with a heroic save. Are you kidding me? And the keeper is up for Millwall here. Everything rides on this corner. Enjai, collect it. You're six foot eight and throw it out. We've got numbers. Quack gun, come on. Gindo Fuchs has it. Gindo Fuchs is going to go for goal. The keeper is not getting back in time and it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter no matter what. Barrow Town have sent shockwaves around in the Carabao Cup. Stoke City goes down. Millwall goes down. And Barrow Town still remain in the Carabao Cup. 
unbelievable to withstand that onslaught of shots late in that match. Look at our attack. We were absolutely outstanding from the get-go. Ovi Ajaria, this was one of his best matches for us overall. Dara Guinness was at his absolute best this match. Masamba Enjai was really good once again. Made a clutch save in the 89th minute there. Honestly, not even the best from Odell, but this game was just so weird, and I don't care. We're moving on. And like I said with the breakout scenario before the match, the goal scored in that match meant that we get potential upgrades. So Quack Gun is going to go from a 74 to a 75 potential, and Ovi Ajari is going to go from a 70 to a 71 potential, which is awesome. Alright, so now let's take a look at the calendar. We are done with September and on to October, so we're going to read some Youth Academy scouting reports, and then we're going to sim the next two weekends and finish off this episode with a quick little home match against Reading in the league. I love it. We've now drawn a Premier League side in round four of the Carabao Cup. West Ham are going to host Barrow Town in the Carabao Cup. Ah, just, I love it. That'll be in November, though, so definitely a next episode thing for us to do. Alright, so three months of scouting from our three countries. Let's see if we've brought anyone back. And just to keep in mind, we're looking for the best of the best in the academy at this point since we have so many young players. And that means I'm looking for a good overall and a good potential and hopefully 15 or 16 years old so they have time to grow. So as we get to the end of scrolling through the players from St. Kitts here, some pretty decent potentials, some pretty decent overalls, but I'm not going to take anyone from St. Kitts from these three months. And we've got someone here from the Philippines, Manny Rosales, 15 year old, looks like a defender, 6 foot 2, definitely looks like he could be useful in the future, let's sign him up. And from New Zealand, what a man, we're gonna sign Ibrahim Mann here. And taking a look at him and our two new players, Ibrahim Mann is a 6 foot 6 goalkeeper, the things you love to see here on this channel. Looks like an absolute beast for the future, I want to see where that potential ends up. And Manny Rosales looks like a really good player too, really good physical center back. Honestly, we have tons of center backs on loan and in the squad, but we don't really have a very high potential center back. I think Odell Tingling's our highest potential right now, but besides him, not really that much, so... Manny Rosales also definitely want to see where that potential ends up. And then for the next three months, we're going to send out our scouts to Norway, Haiti, and Japan. We will check back on these reports in January. And then in our next match in the league, in the sim against Burton, we draw nil-nil here. Good clean sheet. And then in our next match in the league, we play Wickham Wanderers on the road. We lose 2-1. Diogo Melo gets a consolation goal for the Firebirds, though. And that puts us in 17th in the League 1 standing, so still pretty mid-table for Barrow Town. Now let's get into our match against Reading, who sit up in 8th. They're having a pretty decent season. Here's your lineup for this one. Ovi Ajaria starts against his former club, and Azizi Rahman is fully healthy and back from his injury. He's He's gonna come off the bench for this one though, Melo's been great in his absence. If he can get an assist in this match, he's gonna get plus one to his vision and plus one to his short or long passing depending on whatever the pass was. Let's get into this one and finish off an awesome episode. Come on lads. Jojo Betts, really good defending there, honestly he's impressed me a good amount this season. Good team defending here, come on Barrow Town. Oh, good passing here from Redding Enjai, like a cat, saves that one. Sometimes I wonder how you get it past the big man. Great, 1-0 Redding. This game feels like a very cracked CPU I'm playing against. Easy goal, 1-0. And you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're playing the CPU and you're just like, I'm doing everything I can to win, and they are just all over everything we do. Good pressing here from Barrow Town, and of course, Redding make their way out of it. Just one of those matches right now. Mello gets it. Trying to find someone from Barrow Town. Looks across the pitch, and the halftime whistle blows. It's 1 0 Redding. Nisbet looking for Ajaria. Ajaria trying to make his way through the midfield. Nikolai is going to pick it up here and finish. 1 1 against the run of play. Let's go. Ovi Ajaria relentless, pressing the back line of his former employers, and Nikolai Zivergadens gets lucky off the inside of the posts. Josh Nisbet! Oh, we needed that. Come on, ref. Get out of here. Redding have it in a dangerous spot here. You fake Calmly defending. You love to see that. Yes, Josh Nisbet. And Dara Guinness is out of position. Can't make the interception, so here come Redding again. It's Hogan in the box. Yafeko in the way, Enjai's there, he makes the save, Smith is there, Enjai saves again! Oh, good passing from Redding, 
This just seemed inevitable. This is crazy. And making his long-awaited return from injury is Azizi Rahman here, coming in in the 76th minute. Come on, lads. Oh, good pass, Gindo Fuchs. He's fouled, but here comes Azizi Rahman with his pace. Come on, Azizi. Oh, it gets through to Zivergadens. Gindo Fuchs on to Nisbet. Nisbet. Back to Fuchs. Fuchs out wide to Rahman. Rahman. In towards Zivergadens. Nikolai. Quack gun is there. Come on, EA. Dargan is good defending. He has it here. And oh, the ref blows the whistle. Ah, <sighs> we're gonna take the loss today, but I feel like we were playing against another force, not just the CPU, but it was just a very scripted and stupid feeling game today. It's funny, it's in the name, Redding Red, every pass we had in this match, intercepting 17 to our 6. They outpassed us, they had more expected goals, more shots, it was pure domination from the computer in this one. But positive news, Nikolai Zivergadens gets himself a goal, Ovi Ajaria against his former club, I don't know how he didn't get an assist, I'll give him an assist for that one. And Azizi Rahman makes his long-awaited return from injury, and I thought he looked pretty bright. However, your man of the match, definitely John Leofeko, he was everywhere and awesome as always. But that's gonna do it here for this episode. Episode. Make sure you go check out the rest of this series if you haven't already. Subscribe, like, all the good things down below. Leave some more awesome comments for me to read. And until episode 18, as we keep moving here in FC Destiny, this has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.